College students relying on financial aid for their education are finding a major procedural headache this summer. Matt King is live in the studio with our story. And the federal government tweaks its financial aid requirements literally every year, but school administrators describe this summer's alteration as one of the more significant in recent history. In three weeks, the College of Western Idaho welcomes its largest class ever, an estimated 9,000 students studying 100 different programs. Tara Jenkins hopes to join that group, but only if she can correctly submit her financial aid application on time. It's confusing if you, you're not very self-sufficient and know the wording of the documents and paperwork, then you'd be really lost. And Tara's done this before. In the spring, financial aid allowed her to complete her first semester of prereqs toward a surgical technician's degree. But this summer, the federal government has made a change. Bear with us here. Every year, the feds randomly select a certain number of financial aid applicants from every school for what they call verification. So it's not saying we think you cheated or anything. It's simply verifying that information on a random basis. Before, a student could bring in a copy of her tax records from home. But now, Tara and every other student in America must either digitally link their U.S. income tax record to the application or provide an IRS transcript directly from that agency. That sent Tara to the Idaho State Tax Commission in a state of bewilderment. Just a little bit. It was confusing finding the actual building. <laughs> I think there's going to be a lot of confusion about it. And there will be some hesitancy on some parts of people because there are a lot, of, a lot of us who don't like necessarily to attach all of our records together. And so for those individuals, that's going to be an issue. And a requirement for every student in America wishing to receive financial aid. This is every institution across the country. CWI sent out weekly email blasts, three mailings this summer, and tonight is hosting a seminar from 4 until 8 p.m., all to help students navigate the flood of forms and requirements. Live in Studio Matt King, Today's 6 on your side.